Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre. Today we're doing a cocktail I designed called the Ruby Sour. It's technically the idea of a whiskey sour, but unique ruby and sour mix. A little bit of cranberry for flavor to help balance it out. But this is a ruby sour. If you ever made a sour type drink, like say Midori Sour, all that goes with Midori Sour is Midori, lemon, sugar, that's it. Whiskey Sour, whiskey, lemon, sugar, pretty much it. There's just so many different ideas for sours, so many concepts you can make. You can pretty much make any of the core you want. You can make a tequila sour if you want. You can take any of the core you want, any spirit, get the same basic concept of a sour mix, put it all together, and you have a whatever sour. But the ruby sour, it's definitely going to have a little bit more of a flair to it because it's going to have that shimmery effect that you get with the Vanique, which is one of the, the selling characteristics that Vanique has. If you see, it shimmers. It's good. It's one of the things that gave me, for a while, some of the most reviews ever for Vanique. I have about 26,000 views on my Vanique review. I think Derek beat me. He has like 40-some thousand, but he also has a lot more fan base than I do. I got almost 2,000 viewers, so I'm building up there. Only been here for a couple of years. I got more people liking my page than he did in his first year, which is definitely telling you something right there. But one thing about Vanique, the original Vanique had that Moscato grape, as Derek puts it, peach flavor. It was tart. But the one thing about this Vanique is it's sweet. If you check out my review, it has kind of a strawberry, cherry characteristic to it. And the whole shimmery aspect is definitely pretty good. But one thing I'm noticing about this, I'm not sure if it's just my bottle or what. Maybe it's not as thick. It doesn't really get the shimmer in there as much. It sells the bomb a little too quickly. But you can always just go like that and it all kind of mixes together and then turns into one big pile of shimmery mess. So it's a unique, pretty damn good looking review. But let's show you how this one's made. It's simple. We're going to start by getting about an ounce of your lemon juice. You also want to get part of that for a garnish, so put that aside. I got an ounce out of that little half. I'm surprised. Almost. It's got a pretty decent amount of juice out of that one. Before you put that in there, you want to add some ice. Then you want to take a half ounce simple syrup. Because if you think about all sour mixes is lemon and sugar. Then you can add maybe a fine type of sugar or you can add like powdered sugar. If you don't have a simple syrup. Or if you really want, you just take equal amounts of sugar, water, boil on the stove, let it cool down, and then you got your own homemade simple syrup. It's simple to make. doesn't take much at all. And the good thing I'm making at home, you can make infusions. So you can make lemon thyme simple syrup, or you can make honey simple syrup. There's so many different things you can make with that. Or demerara syrup if you have unrefined sugar. As I said, there's many different ways you can do. Then you want to take an ounce and a half of your Vanique Shimmer Liqueur Ruby. 
Good thing about shaking up is you got a lot more of that silver pearl dust in there. Because really, that's all Monique gives is silver pearl dust, vodka, moscato, well, moscato, and flavor. That's it. So I take that, shake it up. Pour it in. Then you just want to add a splash of cranberry. This help give it a little bit of tart note to it. And there you have it. The Ruby Sour. Now, one thing about this is going to have all the characteristics that you're getting from the Vanique Ruby. As far as the strawberry, the cherry pomegranate, all the different flavor notes you're getting out with the Moscato and everything. But you also add a little bit of cranberry to help get that tart note and a sour bite you're getting from the lemon juice. But, let's see how the ruby sour tastes. It's definitely sour. The one thing about the ounce of lemon juice makes it really really tart but it's very very good I'm not even kidding it the flavor is actually phenomenal it has that nice sweet characteristic to help balance out the sour notes it's has that shimmery effect to it so presentation wise this is very cool if you try this like say in a well-lit room with lights flashing everywhere like if you're at a party or something like that the lights are going to shine off all the different glittery notes. It's just going to look phenomenal. But the flavor. It is good. It has no burn to it. The Vanique, only 20%. So it's not strong in, to say the least. So it's very calm. It's good. Simple cocktail. Only three ingredients. Well, four ingredients because you have your cranberry, maybe three if you decide you want to use simple syrup. Or if you want to use like a sour mix. But flavor wise, definitely suggest to make this with a fresh lemon juice. I tried it with a regular store bought simple syrup or a sour mix. It's just, yeah, it didn't taste that good. The store bought sour mix kind of had that kind of a medicinal flavor it was like a little too sweet too sour just didn't have a good balance but one thing about this it's very flavorful it's smooth it has just the right amount of sour notes to it it's good and you're getting all them the cherry it's definitely strong in the cherry flavor and you're getting a lot of that strawberry notes out of it but let me know what you guys think and if you want you can garnish this with a cherry serve it up that way but let me know what you think comment below if you ever got a chance to check out the Vanique Ruby let me know your take on it. My take is, between the two, this is the top-notch better one out there. It has way more flavor. It's smoother. It has a lot more sweetness to it. It's just overall more balanced flavor. But let me know what you think. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Hot Sauce Beer Cocktails. Subscribe to our channel. Submit your cocktails. Find a link below. Donate to our Patreon account. But as always... Responsibly.